what do you say it's your old pal joe d kind of a twilight zone looking video huh <laughs> i'm on the road heading back to kansas city just left a pal of mine shop known him for about 10 years janet uh chariots of fire i was there with uh ron surges from wps that's western power sports slash hard drive which is their harley division and we were pushing some uh, Speedway Motorsports shelters and hadn't seen Jan for a while. Showing him some stuff from Grip Ace and all cool, man. Really cool. This guy's building a hell of a drag bike. Been in business nine years. Got a got about $150,000 drag bike going together. And I mean, real pro looking deal too. Uh, Thompson uh, Choppers built the frame. Ultima engine, special build, 140 inch. Baker drivetrain, um, Alto clutches. I mean, he, he, he rattled off a bunch of sponsors he's got. I can't remember the rest of them, but all cool stuff. And uh, so I wish him luck with that. Told him to make sure he lets me know. And uh, in fact, the bike will be in Cincinnati at the Midwest uh, Motorcycle Supply booth if you want to check it out. It'll be very cool, I can tell you. Definitely worth swinging by and checking out. Um, so anyway, as I say, heading back to Kansas City, see my little girls, had a great two-day tour of uh, dealers in St. Louis, went to see uh, my pals at Midwest, uh, the other pals at uh, MidUSA, and it's all good. Uh, you know, spring's coming, it's, it's uh, cool out, but uh, no snow right now anyway, uh, you know, middle of January, so... Hey, if I get a day with no snow and I don't have to shovel, I'm a happy guy. A uh, couple things real quick. I'm obviously driving and I'm going to keep this short and get home and then I'll do a, a full show tomorrow night. But, uh, you know, I keep seeing posts from Channel 5 in Boston and various news uh, organizations on these two little kids that suffocated in that damn hope chest in Franklin, Mass., my old hometown. And, you know, I had asked uh, my friend Patty Patricolo, I said, so where was the father in all this? Which, now that I look back, was a, was a real dickhead question. And I apologize. Um, you know, because I'm thinking to myself, well, Jesus, if it's so quiet, why didn't you go in? You know, I'm thinking, hey, you know, my kids go play, and they're in the other room. I don't check on them every five minutes. I keep an eye on them. But, you know, when you're cleaning house and you're vacuuming and you're working and, you know, you're trying to do things for your family and, I mean, hey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You know, you got, in their case, two parents working. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm there alone. I'm not a single father because the mother's around, but she's married to somebody else now. But point being, you know, we're all busy in this society and especially the way things are going these days that we're becoming more and more dragged into a socialist society fringing on communists, you know, we work, we can't make enough money, you get preoccupied, you know, it's, it's just crazy that this thing, type of thing can happen, but it can, it can happen to anybody, so anyone that posts anything like, where's the parents, the parents are bad and this and that, hey, you know what, well, I'm not going to say because I want to keep it clean, but you know what I'm thinking, what I am thinking is shut up. Because you know what? These people are heartbroken. So just chill out. Send your sympathies. If you have nothing good to say, don't say anything, all right? Don't be a dick. Because it can happen to you, too. So just remember that. And, you know, speaking of society and the cost of living and the pressures of everything, I go to Cracker Barrel to eat. You know, of course, they pulled all the Duck Dynasty stuff off. It's back in there. <laughs> but anyway. I go there to eat last night. I get turnip greens, I get pinto beans, and I get a salad. Not exactly high in the hog. What I'm used to eating, hey, I'm, I was born in Norton, Virginia, and I'll, I'll always be a Yankee, I'll always be a Boston uh, guy, but in my younger days, my very young days, up to age seven, and my mother was from Bristol, Virginia, you know, we ate that type of stuff, and I love it still today. Um, but point being, you know, I'm not eating prime rib, I'm not eating steak, I'm not eating shrimp cocktail, I'm just eating normal stuff. You know, that and a cup of tea is like $27. What the hell is a working man supposed to do? 
a regular, normal, working man. You know, I make good money, and it's never enough. Well, what does the guy do that's making 12 bucks an hour, got three or four kids, works his ass off, and, I mean, it, it's just insane. I, you know, how the hell does anybody make ends meet? I can't make a meet anymore. You know, I don't have health insurance. I, there's a lot of things I don't have. I don't have a brand new Cadillac. Hey, you know what? It used to be the money I make, I'd be driving in the UK. Now, hey, mind you, I got young children now. I've got a lot of responsibilities. I got other things going on. But it's insane. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's the food for thought. How the hell does a working guy, a working family, normal people that make a normal paycheck? I drive through my neighborhood. I live in a middle class neighborhood. It's not the fanciest, it's not the worst. I see a brand new Dodge pickup truck. I see brand new Lexus. I see brand new this, that. How the hell do these people afford this stuff? I couldn't buy a brand new car right now. It's insane. You know, the personal property tax are killing me. They pick you up. Calm down. Relax. It would just cost a fortune. Anyway, so that's the story of life. Whoa, science! That's the story of life today. This is your old pal Cadillac Joe D. I just pulled on to I-70. I'm heading west. Going to be in Kansas City in about, oh, let's see. I'm about 193 miles from home. So I'll be there in about three hours. So doggies, if you're on the computer and you're watching this, don't worry. Big Daddy going to be home soon, baby. Have a great night. Cadillac Joe D. signing off. Always glad to see you spay and neuter your pets. And be kind to each other. I'll give you a slap. <laughs> Good evening. See ya.